here as we go through the rest of tonight. Uh, these clear skies will be filled right back in with clouds and as we approach first thing tomorrow morning, here comes the snow. It starts up north uh, four and five o'clock in the morning across northern Trumbull and this line will drop its way southward through the morning. So if you're traveling uh, throughout the, the morning drive uh, tomorrow, especially from north to south, this line will be driving on through quickly coating the ground and uh, reducing visibility with a gusty wind and blustery weather expected by 10 11 o'clock working its way through Mahoning and Columbiana counties and then the temperature starts falling into the afternoon. Still some gusty wind uh, lingering later in the day and some of those lake effect snow showers try to get going through the afternoon into tomorrow evening. Could see another coating to up to an inch, especially up in the snow belt. And then the temperatures turn colder. That risk of lake effect snow will be wrapping up by first thing uh, Thursday morning. Temperatures in the mid to low teens. Some clouds around early, but becoming mostly sunny. Thursday looks like a really nice day from the inside of your house. Looking heading out, it's going to be cold. Temperatures in the 20s here as we go through the afternoon and not getting much warmer than that uh, throughout the day. But as we approach later this week and into the weekend, we'll sneak that temperature up a few degrees each day. So 22 overnight snow showers toward morning. Quick coating to an inch possible, uh, reducing visibility for travel concerns during the morning hours. Afternoon highs, well, it's in the 20s in the morning, but dropping probably into the teens by late afternoon and evening. Those wind chills will be driving into the single digits too. A chance for some lake effect snow showers on into tomorrow night with additional light accumulation. But it's all gone by Thursday morning, 12 degrees, 25 your high on Thursday. We'll jump up another 10 on Friday with a few clouds sneaking on through. Winter officially starting Saturday night, a high near 40 as we uh, wrap up your fall and then into Sunday for our first day of winter, 43 degrees and it keeps getting warmer. I have no precipitation to tell you about once we get past tomorrow night and that includes your Christmas Eve and Christmas Day with warmer temperatures around. So our chance of a white Christmas is looking pretty slim at this point.